Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and this time we are here to help you to understand uh, the demo process of NTA, National Testing Agency and they have already provided us with a lot of demo questions, not for uh, life science for CSI net but for the other demo that are already available for UGC net exam because as per the information bulletin, uh, the interface will remain the same. So we'll practice uh, some of this and I'll explain each and every single component of this uh, user interface so that uh, you can make yourself prepared for the exam and you can also take that on your own. The link will be provided in the description. So this is uh, the first page of NTA. Here you can see in the right hand side we have UGC net selected already. There are many other exams. So what is conducted under NTA? selected UGC net and then under that there are uh, many different uh, types are listed so let me uh, again click on here okay so here you can see so this is not changing refresh the page once more okay it's so refresh now select UGC net then we go inside we have all these uh, different courses listed as per uh, the alphabetic tone a b c d e f and we are going to take environmental science for now because the life sciences if i go uh, there is no ugc uh, net uh, question paper on life sciences it will be on the environmental sciences so let's take that start mock test once i click there that will ask you to log in to put your username to put your password but for this time you don't need to put that because you are not a registered candidate this is not a real exam so you just click on login and it will redirect us to this page of instructions, the general instructions. Now, this is very, very important to understand the color codes that are provided by NTA. Remember that. There are five different color codes available. White color means you have not filled the question yet. That means you have not visited the question yet. So, white means nothing has been done. You haven't even seen the question. Red means you have not answered a question. Already visited, you have seen it, but you haven't answered it. Now, green color means you have answered the question, okay? That means your answer is locked. And if you click submit, then that answer will be taken as consideration. Now, type 4 is this purple color. You can see blue, blue color, it's not purple actually, blue. Uh, it means you have not answered the question, but you have marked the question for review. That means you have visited the question. You know, sometimes, when you see the question paper, now you need to mark some questions when you read a question you think like option b is correct sometimes you believe like option c is correct so there are doubts so generally in most of the questions where you have doubt in paper based mode we what we do is simply circle that question and leave it for letter use okay so this is what you can do in this fourth type you can select a question do not put the answer but you can put it for review so that answer even if after submit will not be under any consideration so if after time is over, you submit the question paper, still those questions, whether you put the answers, but if you select it for review, that will not be considered as a valid response. And finally, this fifth type, variable blue and a green dot on top of the blue. That means that answer you have selected and uh, that's also you have marked. So you have selected the answer, you have marked that answer. So if you hit the submit button, this question will go for submission. Although it's hold for review, but still it will go for submission because you have already selected the option. So sometimes what will happen if you have doubt in questions, what you should do is that you should click that question for review. You should hold that for review, but should not select any option for that. Okay. You, you write down the number of question in the rough paper that will be provided by the exam agency and the exam hall. You put the name of the question and beside you write down all the options that you think may be correct. And on the other hand, at the same time, put that same question on review. But do not select the option. Because if you select the option, then if time lapses, then it will be automatically submitted and it will be under consideration. Okay. So if you know this, let's move to the other things. Rest are fine. You know, normal process of up and down selecting questions arrow. I'm, I'm going to show you now. You need to click. I have read all the instructions carefully. This is the common instruction that's going to come up during the exam. So I'm going to pause, you can pause the screen right now and you can just see all the details right now from prayer to this exam and then let's hit the proceed button. So here we go. We can clearly see the UGC net environmental science paper now. In the right hand side in the user interface, you can see all the listed questions. Total 100 questions are there. And you can see the 99 questions are not visited. 
this is the first question that I am visiting. So, it is selected as 1, visited, red. Uh, green means answered. Don't think like green means correct answer, red means uh, false answer. This is not the color code, remember. And uh, other things. So, let me do uh, that for you. So, for example, for, for random process, what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, select any random options. I am selecting a random option. And let's move to uh, the next question. How to move to the next question? You can see here we have option 7 next, next only, 7 mark for review, clear response, mark for review and next. So, so all the type of options are already provided. So, if you select a question, option, let's say option 2 is selected. Now, you realize that 2 is not correct. So, you can clear that response by clicking clear response. So, you can see that option is deselected. If you want to reselect a new option, let's say we know now 3 is correct. So, you select 3. Then what we can do, we can click on 7 next. It will give us a second question. Okay. In this question number 2, again let us select 2. Let us click 7 next. So, save and next means we already we are informing the software that our responses must be locked. Okay. So, then again this is the third question. Let us put a random option and 7 next. So, this way you can see that first three questions have attended. So, those questions are shown here in the right hand side as green highlight. Now, let us say we do not know this question 4. So, we will go to the next question. So, we will not leave 7 next. We go to the next only question number 5. So, you can see we have not attended question number 4. So, that is why the question number 4 is highlighted red. So, we do not know how uh, to answer let us say question number 5. So, next again. Next again. So, we have not answered question 4, 5, 6. So, we have leave uh, question 4, 5, 6 and then we are now at question number 7. We know that for example, let us say option 4, 7 next. Now, this is another question at question 8. Let us say you can think that question may be on either option 2 or option 3. Either of this option may be correct, but you do not know that for sure. So, what you can do with that? Now, you know this is question number 8. You have a rough paper beside your screen. So, you write question 8. And you also write either question option 2 or 3, both can be correct. And here, we are not going to submit, we are not going to select any option. So, what we are going to do, we are going to simply save and mark for review. Okay. So, they are asking for an option. So, let us take any other option. Uh, save and mark for review means you need to select an option. And we do not want to do that because we are not sure. We are only 30% sure. So, we just click on mark for review and next. So, what happens here is the question number 8 is here is now marked for review in blue color highlight. So, in future, why this blue color highlighted questions will be important? Let us say this one as well. Uh, we are clicking mark for review, mark for review. Then, uh, let us see. We know this. Click 7 next. Uh, go to next only. So, by this way, you can fill. Now, at the end of uh, the submission, at the end of the process, you can clearly see the all the coding. Okay, You can see this this green coding, uh, red coding, blue coding, all this type. And let us say this is the question number 13. Let us say we know uh, that option 2, we think like option 2 is 90% correct. It may be 90% correct or 95% correct. You have a high confidence. So, what you can do, you can select this and click save and mark for review. So, you know, when I click save and mark for review, the color code is different. Uh, green dot on top of a blue color. That means, if we submit the test now, if you click submit, then this question 13 will be submitted with the option that we have selected. But for question number 8, 9 and 10, it will not be submitted uh, for the options. Okay, Because we have not selected any options for them. right? So, it is always better to only go for mark for review and next rather than save and mark for review. Remember, because although you can change those in future times, but sometimes you know it may happen at the end of the last moment rush, you may forget to change the options. So, it is always better to go with mark for review and next rather than save and mark for review. Okay. Now, what we can do? Let us say you suddenly at the end of the test, you know, you have done all this. Let us say, let me do that. Continue with this, this, continue like that. Okay. So, I have, I have done my submission, I have, I have done my test. You. Uh, already checked all the questions that is needed and this process is done. Now, it is time to submit. Now, if time is up, then it will be automatically submitted. But if you submit it manually, then you have time. Let us say you have 4 or 5 minutes at the end. Now, what you are going to deal with? You are only going to deal with those blue highlighted regions. Why you are going to deal with blue highlighted region? Because those are the questions that you mark for review. That means you have some doubt, but still you can answer them. So, there are these 4 type of questions. So, let us go directly to that question. 
and how to go directly to a question whenever you click that number in the right hand side it will directly bring you that question okay uh, if i click on 3 it will be bring me to earlier question you know we have selected option 3 there if you want to change the option you can do that okay but we are going to check the review question so question number 8 we haven't filled anything but we know that there is a tie between option uh, 2 and 3 now we have made our mind that yes option 2 may be the correct one we click 7 next so you know the color code has been changed from blue to green right now the same thing you can do for question number 9 you can click that and let's say we know option 2 black well, question number 10 we can clearly see the question 10 and we may think like it's not our leak so we are not going to select this question anymore so clear response we are going to click clear response that means we are not attending the question at all next uh, we are going to see question number 13 which is already filled but held for review now uh, we decided now we are not going to go with option 2 uh, we are not confirmed about it option 3 may be correct or uh, you can simply clear your response and you can simply end it so by this way you can continue the submission of this question and at the end what you can should uh, you, you should do is that you can see you can crawl every single site 100 questions are there so you can cr crawl and see and and directly go to any questions it's not like you need to go from 1 to 100 let's say you know that the questions for example in life sciences the environmental biology ecology questions are present at the end so let's say the question number will be some place like 60 70 so you directly go to question number 60 if you click 60 here it will bring you that question out there so you can select the option and you can go with the next one you can continue and you can just visit any question by directly clicking it out there okay okay you can just do that and once this process is done uh, let's say we are clicking mark and uh, go for next uh, so let's say this one is select two seven go for review and then ultimately at the end we want to submit so we'll click the submit button hmm? when you click the submit button it will uh, show us the exam summary and uh, it's the exam summary it's not totally submitted yet remember clicking on submit button once will not submit your test so do not just submit or click it once not visited question number 89 and 100 out of 100 questions we have visited uh, we have answered 11 questions we have not answered 8 questions but visited total 19 questions marks for review only one and answered uh, marked and fulfilled for review is only one so if you're happy with it if you know all this you can select yes if you not then click no it will redirect you back to the page the earlier page and you can have access to every single question again from the beginning you can do that but it will not undone whatever you done for that purpose it will be all saved in that place so finally when you make up your mind you click the submit button and then it will come down to this yes or no you click yes it says thank you your response will be submitted for final marking click ok to complete the final submission so it's a two round process first i click submit it prompt us a second page then i click submit it prompt us to a third page still it's not been submitted because once submitted it cannot be undone so till this point you find something new you can still cancel it and go back to the earlier page okay but if you don't want to do that you know submit yes and then submit okay then your test has been submitted successfully and then you can view your result although in in uh, the final exams it may not be visible directly I mean, means even though they can give you a result but it will not give you the overall score or overall cutoff or uh, overall um, uh, data sheet at uh, the time of exam but it will be published within very soon like two to three days you'll be seeing all your results and scores as per the new bulletin and uh, within 15 days they'll, they'll declare the result so here you can clearly see the total number of marks that you have obtained and uh, whether it's right or wrong uh, that you can clearly check okay so the number of questions attended how much of them are corrected how many of them are wrong everything is listed there so this is how it will be provided total question 100 total attempted 12 incorrect answers 11 and correct answers 1 so what you are going to see here is the number of question you have attained number of question you haven't attended and how many are correct how many are wrong so the total number calculation is not visible which will be published within two to three days you can see that so now what you can see you can go back or just could uh, click on student feedback it's just just to provide a feedback to nta regarding where to improve and where not to improve and all these things uh, regarding it it may or may not be present in the real exam pattern okay but this is how it's going to submit and in the right hand top corner you can you, you can see your name uh, your uh, subject name with code and your picture will also be visible here and the time remaining for the test will also be visible in the backward kind counting direction so 
that's how it's going to work for every single paper from this ugc uh, like nta site you can simply click download and you can download that whole question paper so let's say this is the environmental paper you can download it like that okay uh, you can also take the test for any other ugc net subjects for csi net they will also release papers very soon but it's not been released yet so you cannot wait for that long that's why i made this video i hope this video helps you out if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that one more thing if you want to know more details about the new information bulletin for this year's december 2019 exam conducted by nta as a cbt mode still watch that video in our channel probably the link in the de description or you're going to see that uh, in your screen somewhere in the left or right you can click that and can watch that video as well thank you